Hello everybody, it is Penny Shelton here of PennyShelton.com and this is a once in a blue moon episode of Foodie Friday. I have two very special blue moon themed recipes to share with you today. Before I get into those, I would like to plug my upcoming November wellness program, Nourishing Roots. It's a magical cornucopia of well-being. And if you haven't been part of one of my programs before, I really want you to come and experience it. There's so much personal support, inspiration, an amazing community of people. And we would love to have you come and join us. Now, let's get into the Blue Moon episode. If you don't already know what a Blue Moon is, it's when there is a second full moon within one calendar month. So the full moon on the first of the month, and then again at the last day of the month. And that's what we have this month, October. So we have a very rare blue moon actually on the day, the night of Halloween. It might get a little bit creepy. We might need something to warm us from the inside out. Let's take a look at the ingredients for my once in a blue moon soup. The real star of this recipe is going to be purple sweet potato. Adding some purple onion or red onion, apple, parsnips. If you can't find parsnips, you can definitely substitute carrots. We're gonna add some celery, always a garlic, and then we're gonna to top it off with toasted pumpkin seeds. I've got some sesame seeds and some wonderful herbs are going to go into this. Sage and thyme. That's some vegetable broth that I had made. So let's get to making this. One of the things I love about this recipe is it doesn't call for any oil. So what you see heating in the pan right now is about a fourth of a cup of vegetable broth. Add one large red onion. Cook this down for maybe about five minutes. We're just gonna cook this until it starts to soften. Perfect, so what you're looking for is just that these onions start to get soft and a little bit more translucent in their color. Uh, it has been five minutes and now I'm going to add smashed garlic. No need to chop it. Stir that around for a bit. And to this mixture, we're going to add the celery and the parsnips. We'll cook this for another five minutes. And if you need to add a little bit more vegetable broth to keep the vegetables from sticking in the pan, please do. Also add a nice pinch of Himalayan salt. I just turned up the heat. All the vegetable broth is added. We want to get this soup up to boiling and then we're going to turn the heat back down and let it simmer for approximately 25 minutes. The goal is to get these vegetables all nice and soft and for all the flavors to come together. Probably add a little bit of salt and pepper once it comes to a boil and then we'll just let the cooking do the magic.
While our soup is busy cooking away, let's put together this other very simple, delicious recipe. You don't have to wait for another blue moon to make this recipe. It's something that I think you may want to add into your life on the regular. It's something to help promote restful sleep. It's called Blue Moon Milk, and we're gonna start off with my mortar and pestle, just like every good witch should have. Put about a teaspoon of chamomile, dried chamomile flowers. These were harvested from my herb garden. I'm just going to crush them up. We're going to add that chamomile to oat milk. We're going to add in a special adaptogen blend. This is maca, reishi, and ashwagandha, which is known for its soothing and calming properties. Also going to drizzle in just a little bit of pure maple syrup. What's going to give it its blue color is just a little bit of blue spirulina. Blue spirulina is different than the traditional blue-green algae spirulina that you may have had in the past. This has a vivid, about the color of my shirt, color. Um, it is heat sensitive. So you want to, as we're gonna heat all of this on the stove, yes, this will be the last thing that we add. At the very end, we will stir it in because we don't want it to react to too much heat. The oat milk is starting to warm on the stove. After I used the mortar and pestle on the chamomile, I used a fine mesh strainer to separate out any twigs or larger leaves. So you wanna get it down to a pretty fine powder. So let's go ahead and add that to the milk. And then the ashwagandha, or the blend if you have it. And then just take a little whisk and whisk those together and you're gonna to wanna to heat this thoroughly. And let's not forget a little drizzle of maple syrup. You can use any sweetener that you prefer or you can leave it out. is nearly done. The blue moon milk is done, but the last little touch I want to put to it, grate a little fresh nutmeg onto the top of this. Isn't it gorgeous? That blue spirulina, it's just very magical. Okay, let's taste. Oh my gosh. One more. That might be one of the best things I've ever tasted. You can really taste the chamomile. It's basically chamomile infused oat milk that we've put some adaptogens in and a little bit of maple syrup. It's gonna make you sleep like a baby. If you suffer from full moon insomnia, I'm pretty sure this will do the trick. Cheers. Well, the soup is finished cooking. Everything is soft. It's actually perfect. At this point, if you have an immersion blender, you'll just leave the soup in the pot and you'll use your blender until the soup is smooth and creamy. You can use a regular stand up on the counter blender. You'll just need to work in batches and you might want it to cool down a little bit. But if you are using a regular blender, then you're going to want to um, add the soup back into the pot when you're done. Look at that color, smooth and velvety. That's what you're looking for. That's the consistency that you want.
once in a blue moon soup. Maybe it's a little purple. I did add just a little bit of blue spirulina at the end just to see what it would do to the color and it just made it turn a little bit more indigo. But isn't that the most gorgeous thing you have ever seen? Savory. Let's go taste it. Well, I'm here with my sous chef who has been watching every little move that I've made. He's smelling it. Right now he's smelling it. You all, this color, it's unbelievable. Trick or treat, it definitely is a treat. Now, I don't know about this for you. Let's taste it. It's amazing. It turned out great. So it's so smooth and creamy, but the the savoriness, you know, you can really taste the brothiness of it, the, the parsnips. I mean, it's just, I really can't describe it. You're really going to have to make it. Once in a blue moon soup. Maybe a little taste. Come join the enchantment. The link to join is underneath this video. See you soon.